All right, everybody, this is Steve with Steve Snakesuary. I want to do another little video with uh, some water moccasins, or cotton mouths, as they're called. And uh, I want to show some little comparisons, talk about them a little bit, and uh, go into some details with, uh, with these. Now, I've got three different size water moccasins and cotton mouths. I want to start out with this one. This is a little juvenile. He's a feisty little dude. Now, he's puffing himself out real big. That's one thing they do, is they puff themselves out real big. Now, I've got these bite-resistant gloves from Snake Professional. Okay, I don't, I don't support free handling snakes and this dude. Okay, now this guy, a lot of times people get these confused with copperheads because of the light color. But uh, water moccasins and cottonmouths, usually, usually, most of the time when they're born, they are lighter. Um, but their patterns are different than, than copperheads. These guys have got a pixelated pattern, and it looks kind of like a lightning bolt going down the side. And uh, as they get older, this is one thing I want to show, most of the time as they get older, they start, they darken up, they get real dark, and they start to lose those patterns. Now this guy, see he's rattling his tail. They don't have rattles, but they do rattle their tails against leaves and dead grass and things to make it sound like a rattlesnake. And this guy's got the yellowish, greenish color tail, and they do that to lure their prey. You know, either little fish or frogs can come up because they think that's a little worm and they'll eat that. And uh, now what I want to show, I'll put him down for just a second because I want to get this one out. This one's uh, a little bit older. And see how this one's a lot darker. He doesn't have those patterns. You can't, well he does have the patterns, but you can't really see it. And now they do have the quote-unquote diamond or triangle shaped head. The reason they have that is because their venom glands are right here in their jaw. Now you can't always go by that. You can't say, well, a venomous snake is always going to have that diamond or triangle shape because the rat snakes or the regular non-venomous water snakes like the yellow bellies or the uh, bandits or the diamondback water snakes can flatten their heads out to that diamond or triangle shape. And so you can't always go by that. But their head is that shape because of their venom glands. Now, one thing I want to mention, too, is a lot of people think, well, if they cut the head off, then it's okay. But that's not true either because they've got their nerves that run through their head. And so sometimes their nerves uh, can still make their jaw do like this even after you cut off their head. And so they can still inject venom even if their head's cut off. So you can't do – and I don't, I don't support cutting – or cutting the heads off snakes or killing snakes or anything like that. I'd much rather you call somebody like me to come get the snake so you don't have to deal with it. But I did want to mention that. Um, now, I'm going to put these side by side. Let me get this other little one out again. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And you can see how the smaller one has got the lighter colors, and you can see the, pa the patterns are more prominent. And as, it, as they got older, this one over here has kind of lost those patterns because he got darker. And uh, now, I want to show this bigger one over here. Let's set these down. I'm going to put them both over here in this cage right here for now. Now, I'm not going to get this big one out, this monster here. But if you can kind of zoom in a little bit. I want you to be careful, but kind of zoom in a little bit. Now, you can see this guy. You can kind of still see the patterns on this guy. I've got my hook. I've got my hooks. Don't worry. You can still kind of see the patterns. But as you see, he's not as light as that, as that baby one, that juvenile that I just had. But you can still kind of see the patterns on the side. That's why I say sometimes, for the most part, don't worry, I got my hook. For the most part, they lose those patterns. They do get darker. You know, there of course there are some anomalies. You know, sometimes you can have albinos or, you know, different morphs or things like that. So they don't, they're not as dark. Now these guys also, they'll puff their bodies out. A lot of times people think that snakes are, are like as big as their thigh or as big as their forearm. And yeah, they can get quite large, quite large. Uh, but they do puff their bodies down. Now look at the tail right there. Look at the tail. I want to point this out too. See how he's got kind of like a real short taper. The taper is real short. It's real fat right here. And then the taper is real short. It's a real short, fast taper. Now the regular water snakes and rat snakes, their taper is a lot longer. It's a lot longer. I'm trying to keep this hook because I don't want to get my I don't want to get my camera person bit. <laughs> But their taper is real short right here. And like I said, the water moccasin, I mean, excuse me, the uh, regular water snakes, and non venomous water snakes, and the rat snakes, their taper is a lot longer. It's not real stubby like that. I've heard a lot of people calling these guys stub tails and things like that uh, because of that short taper. See how it's real fat right there? And then it gets real skinny real fast right there, right there. That's classic. 
Now you can't always go by that either. And I want to say this too because I have got, I should have brought it out. I've got a uh, Texas rat snake that is actually, his tail got cut off because somebody hit it with a mower. So it's cut off right there, but you can see the scar tissue and stuff like that. I should have brought that out to show it side by side, maybe another day. Uh, but this is a water moccasin. The reason they call them cotton mouths is because when they open their mouths, it's as white as cotton. That's where they get that nickname from. The other thing I do want to mention is uh, the cotton mouths, water moccasins, they do have the cat slit pupil. But you can't always go by that either. I'm trying to bust some myths, you know. It's almost like a Mythbusters episode here. Uh, the reason I say that is because, you know, just like people's eyes, their eyes can dilate. So if it gets too bright or too dark, their eyes, their, their pupils are gonna dilate or, you know, they're gonna either dilate or they're gonna constrict. And, uh, and so you can't always go by that either. And plus we do have coral snakes here, which are highly venomous. They have a neurotoxic venom and coral snakes do have the round pupils. Uh, so that's, that's just a couple things that I wanted to, uh, to mention to you guys about water moccasins. And the other thing I wanted to mention too is I've had all of these snakes out. I did a couple of videos. Uh, I did a little video just the just just the other day with this little one, and I did one where I was out in the woods with another one, and they did not chase me. Snakes do not chase you. A snake's only defense is to either get away or bite, and they're trying to get away from you. They they're scared. They're trying to get away, and uh, they may happen to be getting away in your area. You know, they may think that they possibly think that you're kind of a protection, something they can hide under or behind. But a snake will not chase you. A snake's not out to get you. It's not out to kill you. Um, you know, a couple of other things. You know, a the venomous snake knows that it has to use its venom to help digest its prey. And so they don't want to waste their venom if they're not going to eat. Um, that's only, it, I don't want to say it's a last resort, but you know, sometimes they give dry bites. Not all the time. You can't always count on that either. But they understand, especially these little guys right here, they understand they have to use their venom to eat, and I'm too big for them to eat, so they don't want to waste their venom. So they're going to do everything they can to get away from you so they don't have to bite you. They don't want to bite. They're just trying to get away. And uh, But these guys are real calm, and uh, they're real kind of laid back. This guy right here is kind of puffing himself up a little bit, and they'll hold their mouths open. Oh, I want to show this too. Let's look at the bellies of these guys. See that? It's got the uh, the dark and the light parts of the belly. I, I should have brought some of my water snakes and my rat snakes out. Maybe we'll do another comparison video later too. But I do want to show that too. A lot of people ask about the bellies of these guys. And uh, but again, this is Stephen with Steve Snakes Worry. I just wanted to show off some of these uh, cotton mouths and water moccasins and do a little comparison video. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Follow us on social media. Stephen with Steve Snakes Worry. We'll see you guys later.